So my neighbor had a Samsung 40-inch TV, a UN40H5003. And she said the other day she's using it and then it just stopped working or she tried to turn it on and it wasn't working. So we checked. The, we tried new batteries. We tried all the steps online, which said hold the power button, drain the capacitors, try it. Hold the remote with no batteries, try it, new batteries, didn't work. I verified that the power was coming through the cord fine and was shifting it around some and I don't know if this is going to, well, I'm fairly certain since I have it on my headset, it won't do it. But when you tilt this, something slides down inside. Like it rolls, something rolls back and forth. And I took the back panel off, which is just this plastic, and it's not in that section. It's in the front section somewhere. So this is me trying to figure out if I can figure out what's wrong with it, and maybe I'll try and fix it. Maybe I'll just throw it out after I take it apart. Who knows? But in any case, we're going to see what is making the noise inside the TV. And again, it's inside between the metal shell behind here and the front panel. So we'll see what happens. So first, got to take the case apart. Luckily, I had done this earlier in the day, so I knew how to do it. Take all the screws out, try not to get them confused, get the plastic bits off. Then take basic pictures. So I know approximately what to do. Take the speakers out and then try and get the bezel off. I managed to get it part way and then separated it out and then found what the problem was. Well, that didn't take long to figure out. I definitely am not completely sure how to fix it. I'm sure it's possible. I, I suspect it's the LEDs that fell apart. But, yeah, let me show you what I found inside. So I managed to get the bezel off, and I managed to get this white layer off. And then you look inside, and those are the LED lights. And you notice a lot of these have bumps. Some of them don't. So there's one, two, three, four, five that are floating down in the bottom, which is not ideal. So that's what the problem is. And maybe these are just plastic things? Maybe those are just covers and that those would go right back on. I'll have to see, but that's what was rattling, plastic things. So those might be the diffusers, but yeah, there's five of them out. So now, now I get to figure out, without breaking the rest of this, if I can somehow get those put back on or not. And then pulled out the little plastic pieces that were from the LEDs, and then tried to work and get the circuit board that's at the bottom that goes to the front panel, get that disconnected and get the other pieces disconnected. And, you know, what thing can be done without a cereal box? I mean, really. So anyway, got the bezel off, got the white piece off, got the other stuff out. And yeah, then that's how it's there. Well, I got it apart. I'm hoping I can theoretically get it back together. But these things, they just pop off which I noticed when I bumped another one, it just pops off. But the one thing I did notice, most of these have a yellowish LED sensor in. That one looks burned, the center bit. See, as compared to here, that one's more of a yellow. That center is more of a burned. And this one has a little bit of a burn. So I'm wondering if that's why it wasn't working was because that LED strip was screwed up. And I suspect that when those get hot and expand or whatnot, that probably pops 
this little thing off and then that moving back and forth because we did rotate it back and forth to try and figure out what it was that bumped other ones off because see this one oh that one doesn't want to come off easy some of them they just pop yeah there you go that one just popped right off and there are three little dots and there's three little thing little pegs but I suspect looking at them that might be glue. So, yeah, because those are not those are not gonna go back on easily. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll look online and see if anybody knows if anybody's familiar with this TV and has replaced the LED strips. Let me know in the comments. But I suspect that at minimum. I would have to get LED strips and replace, and that's theoretically possible, I suppose, because this should just come up out. Yeah, this just comes up out, and those LED strips are just taped in, and they do have little part numbers and stuff. So maybe I'll look up and see if I can find them, and if they're cheap, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I won't, but I do suspect, oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I would need to buy one of those too, which that shouldn't be too bad. I could probably tape that as well from the back because that's just the, the reflector. But yeah, at least I know what was rattling inside the TV. It was these little things. And at least I know those little LEDs yeah, so you run your fingernail across that and carbon stuff comes off. That's definitely toasted. And I'm guessing that's the same. So, most likely it's not worth fixing, but who knows. I'll at least look it up. And I didn't think it was going to work, but I figured it's probably worth trying just to see if it lights up. And, spoiler alert, it didn't. It did get power to the breaker, or not the breaker, the switch, but no power to the LEDs. 